Good afternoon, everybody. It's Gary here, Fathers for Justice South Africa. It's the 19th of uh, August, uh, 2021. I have been offline for a while. I've uh, been very busy in the background. Lots of things going on, Very lots of very important things going on. Um, this is just a precursor to tonight's uh, interview that I'm doing uh, of uh, Candice Bister of uh, Grit Growth. And it is called clearings. Now, clearings are something that you can do um, with your partner, your family. Uh, it works exceptionally well in um, organizations, businesses, and so on and so forth to clear the air, basically. And that's what the intention is. Um, and uh, so I, I'm, I'm going to try and keep this as brief as possible. Um, if you want your relationship to work, uh, I would suggest that you start doing clearings. And that relationship, like I said, can be with anybody. Uh, your your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your kids. And uh, especially when it, be, uh, when it comes to your kids, it's an exceptionally powerful tool for them allow to learn to communicate openly and honestly in a safe environment. So... Um, I'm just going to go through the process with you. Um, I've got it up here. Uh, sorry, I don't really have the best of um, environments to doing, be doing these kind of videos. So you'll just have to excuse me looking up. So it goes the following. The format of uh, the clearing is uh, groups gather together at a convenient time. Example, for at dinner or breakfast. The clearing is a formal procedure and a space and everyone must agree to keep the rules. Okay, so what goes on in the clearing stays in the clearing. It's that simple. Uh, break, break that rule at your peril. Only one person at a time is speaking in the clearing and may not be interrupted. There is no interaction or conversation in the clearing. Keep body language open. So if you're standing, hands to your side, not in your pockets, don't cross your legs, don't co cross your feet. Um, um, stand broad. Uh, shoulders back and so on and so forth when you're sitting um, hands open on your lap or to your side and feet um, <clears throat> feet uncrossed uh, and your knees together um, no story uh, storytelling so we're not going into great detail and it's a blah blah fish paste and it's a f you uh, us against them it's about you clearing yourself okay um, sit around a table or in a circle, or stand um, in a circle. The three questions asked in turn <clears throat> of the group in clockwise direction. So you can appoint someone, and I would suggest that when you get to, when your kids get to understand the process, you let them start the process. Um, they do figure the process out fairly quickly, so be warned. <laughs> Um, so the three questions are, what has not worked for you today? So for today, it's been cold outside. I don't, um, it's, I don't know. It's been cold outside and it didn't work for me. That's one of the answers. Okay. What has worked for you? The sun has come out and it's now nice, uh, a nice sunny afternoon. And, um, yeah, um, uh, that's, I mean, like, Obviously, the deeper that your, your your answers to that question those questions are, the better and the quicker you are, are are clearing. Are you carrying anything? This means are you clear? Have you released everything that has been bugging and bothering you? Okay, so you ask. So so the person that's leading the the the, the, the circle asks each individual the question. So you'll go around. <clears throat> um. You'll go around to each individual, what has worked for you, what doesn't work for you, and or what hasn't worked for you, and are you carrying anything? And you'll go to each individual person, um, and and you know, then obviously the person that's leading the, the clearing would be the last person to be saying that. Um, be careful of messing with this process people it is a highly powerful process you have no idea the amount of conversation and freedom that it allows uh, to go on uh, if there is um, 
Any issues? Okay, let's just go through the rules. Okay, so the rules of the clearing is what is said in the clearing stays in the clearing. Um, the uh, only rare exception is if both parties agree to discuss it outside of the clearing. So if I say something about you and you've got an issue with it, um, that person would say to me, I want to discuss this outside the clearing. And you can either agree or not to agree. Okay. And the only time that it can be discussed is when you go back into the clearing. Okay. Allow for that process to be to, to go on as naturally as possible. If the per, if you uh, if you come to me and say I want to discuss, I want to do discuss it, go into another clearing. And you know what? Carry on doing clearings until you get to a point where you've discussed and let everything out. Okay. Um, have no expectation that the other person or persons will do anything about what you have said. So, for instance, um, kids not tidying their bedroom. Okay. You can say that to your kids that them not tidying their bedroom doesn't work for you. Okay. Obviously, there's programs and stuff that you can implement outside of that to create the discipline and the environment that you're looking for. But your kids not t having tidy bedrooms, you can complain about that until... And, and, and they don't have to do anything about it. That's the bottom line. Ultimately, you've got to find a way that works for everybody that the kids tidy their room. Okay. However, uh, don't, don't, once you've released it into the clearing, let it go. Okay. And you can say that for the next 20 years, your kids are either going to hear you or they are not. Okay. Obviously, the, you would obviously implement some form of, of disciplinary measures outside of the clearing with, that would get the kids to, 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 tidy, their, to tidy their rooms. Um, but what goes on in the clearing stays in the clearing. Uh, further considerations. For people in relationships, clear privately and add the words about me to the three questions. So what did, work, did, did not work about me today was... So I got angry at work, okay? What did work for me was I was able to resolve a problem at work, okay? And I'm carrying the big project that we have to get off uh, and we don't really have the time. Just using examples. Do it with your children as soon as they can understand is what's going on. Let them in the clearing, okay? And, and, and guys, I can tell you now, once, once your kids understand that they can... They can openly and honestly talk to you as children to their parents. Watch those little flowers blossom. Okay. Joining the, the clearing is voluntary. Okay. So there's no, you don't have to be there if you don't want to. Okay. If someone does not want to take part, ask them to please um, leave the room um, uh, until the clearing is completed. Okay, because they are not part of the process, they're not ho holding the process in a safe environment, and they are, not, they are not bound by the rules of the clearing, basically, so they can go and talk a whole lot of nonsense, okay, which is what you're trying to get past. Okay, if you, go through, if you are going through a problem or a crisis in your relationship, do not discuss the problem outside of the clearing. Absolutely vital, guys, um, as it will only lead to an argument. All right. So, if your partner doesn't want to clear with you, okay, clear with them without talking, without them being present, okay, it's that simple. You will eventually get to a space and place where you have released everything that you need to discuss with them, and they will eventually see the change in you, and that will affect the change that probably will save your relationship, okay. Um, we've seen it many, many times. That where the one partner doesn't want to, to, to communicate and the other one carries on clearing. They suddenly are released. They, they've, they've let it all go because this is the point. It's called communication. Let it all go. Let it all out. Let it go. And once that is done, then you can get on with your life. Okay. Um, guys, I am going to uh, put the whole process into the, the, the remarks. And please, you, you, guys... You know what happens is is people get into this process and they do it for like six or seven months and then they let it go. And then six months down the line, their relationship is hitting the wall again. And 
guess what? They get into the process again and suddenly everything clears itself out. If you can release the little stuff, guys, it's the little stuff that destroys a relationship. If you can release the little stuff, okay? So really and truly, it's a powerful process. It's a powerful, powerful process. Please don't use it as a tool to attack your partner or other people with. You do that, you break the trust, you destroy the communication, and people don't want to do the don't want to do the process with you because you've bro they've broken your trust or you've broken their trust. Okay, so don't use it as a tool, as a weapon. Use it as a weapon at your peril. It's that simple. Okay. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Please join um, the class action suit. Um, the links to the, the WhatsApp uh, support group, um, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, YouTube, and Google are also attached. Uh, email address and websites are also there. If you need additional support, we can support you. Uh, please email us. The email will be there. And uh, love and light to you all. Thank you very much.